the beauty of Campfire to me is that we provide a safe place with reliable adults that show up every day to be with them. They bang on the window, they knock on the door until we let them in. We give them snack, we help them with their homework, and then we provide this safe place for them to really truly be who they are and use their voice to light the way into their future. I work long hours. I know that they can be a campfire. And Miss Sarah, she's here. They have a safe place until I'm able to get home. I don't know one other community that gives children the unique experience of really leading in the program. So for instance, this isn't like football club or art club, like we ask the children, what is your spark? My spark is math. My spark is to be a, a firefighter. My spark is playing basketball and helping others. My spark is science. In that, I want to become a chemical engineer. The kids have a role in leading what their campfire experience is. Our approach at Campfire is helping youth discover their spark through learning, leading, and living. If a child has expressed interest in learning more about space, then that's what we're going to learn about. My dream for the future is to be a fashion designer. My dream is to be the president of the United States of America. My dream for my future is um, to be an NFL player and to be a president. Unless somebody takes it, then I'll be a vice president. Another dream is to be an Olympian for a run. Or maybe I'll do it all at once. They get a chance to do a podcast, a blog, a book, write a grant. Campfire is teaching them a lot. It's exciting to see all of the teams, not just mine, learn about the outside world and to help prepare them. We're not, you know, only with these kids for a year and then they go into the next grade. We're with them for as long as they want to be at Campfire. And I really feel like I'm a part of them growing up. It gives kids the opportunity to go outside, learn about nature and the community and all the good things about it, instead of staying up in home playing video games. So we really give our kids a chance to experience nature-based learning, not just in the club department, but we will take them out to our camp, Tanaduna, and we give them this opportunity that really is amazing to be a part of, to see kids that maybe have never been outside in that wide of a space, 103 acres, and really get to like find themselves and what they're maybe passionate about in different ways. Living in Minnesota, it's an outdoor state, and I want them to have all the experiences they can have, not just from outdoors, but teen club and youth club, they get to have diversity in their life that I want them to experience because the world is made up of everything. We can learn so much from youth, like we're saying that we're teaching them, but they teach me every day. We can have fun and we could talk about serious topics and bounce ideas off of each other. It's like a campfire family. Campfire is my family and I couldn't imagine my life without these children. The kids of Cedar were happy now and one more dream that I have, that Campfire can be available to every kid, any place, anywhere in the world.